For years, I've used the merge and center button in Microsoft Excel. Right up here at the top of the screen, let's say I wanted to do a title uh, right up here at the top and it was going to go across A through J. I would do merge and center first, blend those together, and then I would type my title. But there's a lot of problems with doing this. Uh, basically, anytime that you have merged cells, that's going to really inhibit your ability to copy and paste things into and out of this page. And even little things like the keyboard shortcut uh, control spacebar. I just used control spacebar there and you saw instead of highlighting a whole column, which it's supposed to do, let's go over here so I can show it to you. Here I am on the M column. There's no merged cells here, so control spacebar highlights the whole M column see how nice that is unfortunately when you merge and center some cells like this one uh, now you cannot do a single column selection like this using the keyboard shortcut and really you should just be avoiding using this technique altogether instead you want to go ahead and use and let me go ahead and unmerge these cells there you want to use a tool called Center Across Selection. So I'll highlight the same A through J right up here at the top of the screen. And in your Home tab on the Alignment group, there's a little pop-out button, bottom right-hand corner. You can click on this and you'll see that under the Horizontal Alignment, there's a special type of horizontal alignment that doesn't make it onto the ribbon called Center Across Selection. Basically what this says is if you have pre-highlighted a bunch of cells here, I'll go ahead and center it within whatever you've got selected. So I click on Center Across Selection and I click OK. And now when I type in a title, Notice how it treats that top part of my page as if I had merged and centered the cells, but they're not actually merged and centered. Instead, Excel recognizes that I wanted to take whatever content was in there and center it across the selection. And of course, just to give you a little example here, Control Spacebar still highlights the column perfectly.